In this lecture, we are going to create a simple application that describe you how to work with Morgan module in Node application. A common piece of advice in software development is don't reinvent the wheel. If someone else has already solved your problem, it's often a good idea to take their solution and move on to the better things. That is what basically we are doing here. We are going to remove the hard work and use a piece of middleware called Morgan. Morgan is basically a logger. On any request being made, it generates a log automatically. Morgan is a popular HTTP request middleware logger for Node.js and basically used as a logger. Morgan is going to log a message on the console whenever you make a request, no matter what the request is. Morgan describes itself as request logger middleware, which is exactly what you want. Morgan is third party middleware, so we need to install it and use it using app.use method. So let's create a simple app that will add an ID to all the requests and display it using the ID token. So we're going to understand how to work with Morgan completely in, in this project. So I'm going to create a new project here. So I'm going to click on this new folder icon and specify name for this project. I'm going to say here Morgan app and I'm going to just open a terminal and enter in my Morgan app like this. And I'm going to say npm in it hyphen y to initialize this module as npm package. So this will initialize this folder as npm package. Just out of that, here I'm going to say npm install and then I'm going to install some useful module. So here I'm going to say express, then I'm going to install nodemon, then we're going to install morgan and then we're going to install uuid module. This command will install all this module in this morgan app. So it will create a new folder, node modules and install all these modules inside this node modules folder. Let me just clear the screen. Let me create my server.js file. So here I'm going to say server.js. Now once I have my server.js, I'm going to back to my package.json and here I'm going to create a start command. So here I'm going to say start nodemon server.js. Save the changes and back to the server.js. Here I'm going to create my server. So I'm going to first say constant express is equal to require and require the express model. Just for that I'm going to say constant morgan is equal to require and require the Morgan module. Just for that, here I'm going to say constant app is equal to express and then I'm going to say constant port is equal to 3000. At the last, I'm going to say app dot listen and I'm going to just listen this app on port 3000. So I'm going to specify here port name and as a second argument, I'm going to pass a callback function that's going to display a console message. So here I'm going to say console.log and say server is running on HTTP localhost and then I'm going to specify my port name like this. Save the changes and now let me just start the server. So here I'm going to say npm start. When I press enter, this will start the server on port 3000. Let me just click on it and open the localhost 3000. Now you can see we have an error message cannot get. Now let me just create here a simple route. So here I'm going to say app.get. I'm going to create here a get request for the root route. And here I'm going to specify request and response. And I'm going to just return a response. So I'm going to say response.and morgan logger app. Save the changes. You are going to get a message morgan logger app. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to just use this morgan module. As I said earlier, morgan module is not built in in Node.js. So you need to install it and use it in the application. So here I'm going to say app.use and using this use method, I'm going to use this Morgan module. So here I'm going to say Morgan. And when I call this class, I have different parameters that I can specify inside this parenthesis. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify single quote. And here you can notice I have some parameters here. Combined, common, dev, short and tiny. These are some useful parameters you can specify with this Morgan. Let me show you what happened if I specify here combine. Save the changes, reload the browser. When I reload the browser, you can notice I have the result something like this. Here you can notice you have the get request, the HTTP version, the Windows operating system, and other useful information. Now you can get all the information of these parameters from Morgan website. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to say npm Morgan. Here I'm going to just click on this Morgan npm and open the GitHub page. So I'm going to click on this Morgan repository. So this will just open the GitHub page of Morgan module. 
Now here you can notice we have some documentation. You will understand here how to install the Morgan and how to use it. Now just for that, when we call the Morgan class, we are going to get two arguments. First is the format and second is the options. You can notice in the syntax, we have tiny format parameter. When you scroll down, you have all the parameters. Combine, common, div, short and tiny. These functions or you can say these tokens are going to display some useful messages. If you want to print all the information of the logger, you can use this combined token or if you want to create short or tiny console message, you can use this short or tiny parameter. And instead of combine, here I'm going to say tiny. When I save the changes and reload the browser, you can notice here we have a tiny console message. This will just print the requested method, the requested URL, the status and the response time. Now when you open the Morgan website and scroll down, here you can notice you have here tokens. Tokens is basically a function. If you want to create a token, you need to specify here Morgan dot token and then specify the token name and the callback function you want to execute when we call this token in the Morgan class as a parameter. Just after that, when you scroll down here, you can notice we have different tokens, which is the predefined tokens in Morgan module. Date format, HTTP version, method, refer, and you have some useful tokens here. So let me just show you some useful tokens of Morgan. So I'm gonna just open my application. And here, instead of tiny, I'm gonna just specify here colon method. If you want to call a different tokens, you need to specify colon and then specify the token name. Now this is the predefined token in Morgan module. So you don't have to create it. Save the changes, reload the browser. Here you can notice. So this will just return the requested method as a result. Now just for that, I want to get the status code as well. So here I'm gonna specify space colon status. Save the changes, reload the browser and back to the project. Here you can notice I'm gonna have the status code as well, which is the successful 200 code. Now just for that, what if you want to get the URL? Here you can specify the predefined module URL. Save the changes, reload the browser, and here is the result. So it will just return the forward slash. What if you want to get the HTTP version? So here in the double quote, I'm going to just print the HTTP version. So here I'm going to say HTTP forward slash colon HTTP version. So I'm going to just save the changes, reload the browser, back to the project. Here you can notice I have the HTTP version 1.1. This is the text I want to display, and this is the token. Now these are some useful tokens which you can use in Morgan application. You can find more about these tokens on the GitHub website right here. Next, we're going to understand how to specify unique ID to every request and create access.log file and log all the requests in that file.